Here's some examples for finding the nth term of a sequence. So find t sub n. So for example, uh, in this sequence, it says find t sub 17. So here's how we can go about doing that. Uh, one thing that I notice is in this sequence, it's changing arithmetically. It looks like it's plus five each time. Plus five, plus five, plus five. And one thing to notice, just kind of notice the mechanics of this. It starts at three and it just keeps adding five. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. In order to get out to the fourth term from the first term, I, I start with three and notice I add five only three times to get to the fourth term. So the number of times that I add that difference is, is one less than the actual term I want to get to. So in this case, uh, I want to get out to term 17. So I'm going to start with three and I'm going to add five, not 17 times, but 16 times. Because I've already started at three. There's my first term. One, two, three, I'm at the fourth term. So out 16, I'm at the 17th term. So again, what's going on here is I'm starting at five, at three, sorry, and I'm adding five 16 times. And by the time I've added that 16th one, I'm out at the 17th term. So that will be the value of it. And uh, let me just shove that into my calculator. And it looks like 83. So 83 would be the 17th term of this arithmetic sequence. Now, looking at that next sequence, I notice that it is not arithmetic. It is changing by multiplication. It's changing by uh, multiplying by two each time. And I'm trying to find the 11th term. So it's the same idea, but a little bit different tools that I'm going to use. Um, notice I would start it to get to the fourth term, t sub four. I would start at the first term and multiply by two three times to get to the fourth term. Great, so that helps me think about what to do. So in order to get out to the 11th term, I'm gonna start at four, and there's no adding here, it's just multiplication. So I'm gonna multiply by two um, 10 times to get to that 11th term. So I'll just say two to the 10th, you know, multiply by two 10 times. And um, if I grab my calculator and have it help me calculate that, what is it, 40, 96, I think, 4,096. Whoops, sorry about that. 4,096. So 4,096 would be the 11th term in this sequence.